boundaries within the world. You see, and how there's different kindreds and tongues and peoples and nations, and how he's going to save food from every kindred people to and the nation. You see, it's a glorious thing. You see, and I don't want you all to go to hell. You see, I want you to be saved. See, Jesus Christ saved the wicked sinner like me, and he can save you too. You put your trust in him. He is real. Jesus is real. Jesus rose from the dead of the third day. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Make sure you're saved, folks. You see, the King James Version of the Bible is God's perfect word in the English language for the English speakers. You see? This is the standard of truth. You see, for all people, for all people throughout the world, the word of God, the King James Version, I will exalt this word of God for my entire life. I will exalt the name of Jesus for my entire rest of my life because I know what he has done for me. You see, I was blind, but now I see. You see, I was lost, but now I'm found. Jesus Christ set me free from the bondage of sin. He can save you too. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done. See, I was watching pornography. I was addicted to video games. I was a prideful vegan for many years. I wanted to kill myself. You see, I hated my parents. I hated everybody around me. You see, because I felt like the world didn't care about me. And though I realized that was true, I realized that was true. You see, but Jesus Christ, you see, he saved me when I cried out to him with a heavy heart. I said, Jesus saved me, and he saved me. He can save you too. You put your trust in him. If you believe in him, you're going to have eternal life. Remember that. When you trust in Jesus, you're going to save you. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, he can believe you. Why are they good with you? Okay, we will be number day. Have a good day. Thank you. Trust in Jesus. Christ in Jesus Christ. Call upon his name for the hunter heart today. For God will lift to the cross, but give his grace unto the hunter. He that exalteth himself shall be abased, but he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Come unto me, Jesucristo, señores y señores. Lea la Biblia para ustedes mismos. Llámale a Jesucristo en oración el día de hoy. Con un corazón humilde. Y cree en él que él resucitó de los muertos para que usted pueda recibir el regalo del Espíritu Santo. Y para vivir otra vez, nacer otra vez. ¿Tienes Jesucristo también? ¿Tienes que hacer algo? Sí. Vamos. 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 together vanity. That's the truth, folks. There is salvation. There is hope through Jesus, folks. That's why I'm here, because I care for your soul. No matter where you're from, Jesus Christ can put you free. Jesus Christ will put you free from the sin. He can free you from the sin. He can free you from the sin. There is hope in Jesus Christ. No in the traditions of Londres, no in the idols of Pablo, no in the images, señores y señores. Are you trusting Jesus, folks, before it's too late? The Lord is coming very soon for his sheep. Make sure you're not left behind. When you're called to be your chosen, Jesus said, not all that's said to be Lord, Lord, you'll inherit the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten Son, 
folks Jesus Christ wants to have a personal relationship with you he wants to he wants to know you but many of you reject him and rebel against him God the creator of all things and when we rebel against God what happens is that God's judgment and wrath is upon us you see be not deceived God is not mocked whatsoever a man soweth that also shall he reap there's consequences for your actions folks and the consequence of rejecting Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, rejecting Jesus Christ, God the creator of all things, is that God's judgment and wrath is upon you. And you are given over to a reprobate mind. And you begin to do those things which are not convenient. You see, you begin to do those things that you know are wrong, and yet you do them anyways. You see, we are in bondage, we are in shackles, we are in chains, we are slaves to our flesh and our carnal desires, and we are slaves to the world. Many of us are in debt, slaves to the bank, going for that nice house, going for that nice car. You see, we have bills to pay. You see, we're slaves. We're slaves to, to the world, to the world of Satan. Satan has deceived you if you are in debt. Satan has deceived you. If you're addicted to alcohol, if you're smoking marijuana, that's not that's not a good way to go. You're on the, the wrong path, folks. Most of us have gone on that wrong path. You see, the broad way leads to destruction. Don't follow the world, but follow after Jesus Christ. He is coming back very soon. Make sure that you are right with him. Make sure you're saved. You see, Jesus Christ is coming for his sheep very soon. He's coming for his sheep. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and then those that are living shall be cut up in the air with the Lord. You see, some call it the rapture. You see, it's, it's going to happen very soon, folks. Muy pronto va a pasar. El arrebatamiento de, de, de las ovejas de Dios. Los muertos en Cristo resucitarán primero, y luego... Los vivos que creemos en Jesucristo seremos arrebatados y todos aquellos que han rechazado a Jesucristo van a tener que sufrir la, la ira y juzgamiento de Dios que va a venir muy pronto. You see, very soon there's going to be a mark of the beast. You're not going to be able to buy, you're not going to be able to sell without it. It's either going to be on your forehead or on your, on your right hand. You see, digital currencies are upon us. You see, digital currencies are coming very soon. You're not going to have any more physical cash. It's all going to be digital, folks. They're preparing you for the mark of the beast. You see, the, the new world order is coming. The, the world order, you see, of the Antichrist, of Satan is coming. You see, if you don't ask Jesus to save you in humility, you see, if you're not saved, you're on your way to hell, you're on your way to the lake of fire, you're on the path that leads to destruction. You see, trust in Jesus, honor your mother and your father. But you see, we're all different. You see, that's why I'm dressed like this today. Because I want to honor my mother and my father. I am not ashamed of where my parents come from. You see, and neither should you. You see, honor your mother and your father is one of the Ten Commandments that many of us don't follow. We are ashamed of where we come from. You see, 
Just make sure you don't put your traditions that you grew up with above the word of God. The word of God is above our faith. The word of God is above your traditions, is above, you see, the traditions and ways of men. But there's lots of wisdom that you're leaving behind if you don't honor your mother and your father, folks. That's why I'm dressed the way I am, and that's why I have the Word of God before me, because the Word of God is the authority, and should be our authority, and when you rebel against its authority, you have God's judgment and wrath upon you, folks. It's the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man goeth unto the Father but by me. Jesucristo dice, yo soy el camino, la verdad, y la vida, y ninguno va al Padre pero por mí. Jesucristo es la única solución. Jesucristo es el único que lo puede salvar. Si rechaza a Jesucristo, está en camino al infierno. Está camino al lago de azufre, al lago de fuego. Ponga su fe en Jesucristo. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can set you free, folks. You see, very soon there's going to be a, a world order where you're all going to be forced to worship a man that's going to claim to be God, and he's not God, but he is the Antichrist. You see, and he's going to force you to put a mark on your right hand or on your forehead, and you're not going to be able to buy or sell without the mark, you see. But if you trust in Jesus, if you ask Jesus Christ to save you today, you don't have to worry about the wrath of God that's coming very soon. You see, the Antichrist, you don't have to worry about him. You see, because Jesus Christ is coming back for his sheep very soon. Those that are dead in Christ shall rise, shall rise first. And then those that are living shall be caught up in the air. And all those that have rejected Jesus Christ will have to suffer to the wrath and judgment of God. Folks, are you saved? Have you asked Jesus Christ to save you with a humble heart? You see, Jesus said, those that are whole have no need of a physician. But they that are sick, Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You see, if you think you're whole, if you think you're a good person, if you think you're righteous, you're on your way that leads to destruction. You're on your way that leads to hell. You see, you're not a good person. Nobody's a good person. You see, that's the truth. You see, that's what the Bible teaches, that we all have fallen short of the glory of God. But there is no righteous, no, not one. We've all become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. You see, even Jesus, the Son of God, said, why callest me thou good? There's only one that's good, and that is God. You see, even God himself was humble enough, you see, in his fleshly state, to state that he wasn't good, that the only one that's good is God. You see, in the flesh dwelleth no good thing. That's the truth, folks. That's why we, we have sinned. That's why we are in this fallen, fallen shape, because of our selfishness. Because of our rebelliousness, because of our vanity, you see, we all deserve hell, every single one of us, you see. But God is willing to, to forgive you. God is willing to wash you whiter than snow, to set you free from the slavery of this world, from the slavery of your flesh. Folks, there is hope, and that hope is found in Jesus Christ. You see, many of you put your hope more in, in your favorite football team, and your favorite basketball team. You put your hope in things of this world. You put your hope in money, in education, you see, in having a wife or having a husband, or having a girlfriend, or having a boyfriend, or having sex, or having an orgasm, you see, or you put your, your hope in drugs and alcohol and marijuana, you put your hope in these things and it leads you to destruction, folks, that's the truth. It gives you a little bit of euphoria, but then it destroys you. It destroys your life, folks. Trust in Jesus Christ, folks. Not in yourselves. Do not believe in yourself, but believe in Jesus Christ. He is the only one that can set you free. Él es el único que los puede salvar. Jesucristo es el camino, la verdad y la vida. Y ningún hombre va al Padre, pero por él. Hoy es el día de tu salvación. Hoy usted puede tener la vida eterna si pone su fe en Jesucristo. Llámale a él el día de hoy en oración para que usted pueda ir al cielo. Es una salvación gratuita, señores y señores. It is a free gift, ladies and gentlemen. You see, salvation is a free gift. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, but we are saved by grace through faith, that not of ourselves. You see, there is hope through Jesus, folks. There is hope through Him. 
not in this world, folks, not in the things of this world, but in Jesus Christ. You see, for when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life. For your trust in Jesus Christ, for by his life you can have life. You can be resurrected from the death and unto life. From darkness. Behold, my servant shall do prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. As many as were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred, more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The kings shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard, shall they consider. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness that when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. Every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear that of his Therefore will I divide a portion with my land, and he shall divide the spoil with the spoil, because he hath poured out his soul unto God. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesucristo es el camino, la verdad y la vida, y ningún hombre va al Padre, pero por él, hoy es su día de salvación.